on dot size. Number one thing that I found in dot size is bigger and brighter is better. Call that the three Bs. I just made that up right. Bigger and brighter is better. And that's not entirely the case. For example, if you went from, uh, let's say, a six-minute dot to a 66-minute dot, I wouldn't say that's the case. But what I found is, you know, this Zig Optic, I believe this has to be about a one and a half, maybe a two minute dot. It's a very small dot. I'm not even sure if I can, you know, line it up with this with the screen for you. Yeah, there you can see it. It's it's not a very large dot. Now, this particular setup, by the way, is true uh, uh, backup iron sights in what we would call the, the middle of the window. So if you look at where those iron sights are compared to the dot, right, they're very much in the middle of the window. Those iron sights actually on this gun when I shoot this gun. I very much pick up the iron sights when I'm picking up the dot. So the dot and the iron sights are very uh, close to each other. This is middle of the window co-witnessed, where you have some optics, right? Turn this bad boy on. Unloaded it, clear. See if I can show you this one. This one is a little bit lower, right? So this one probably has a lower co-witnessing. So the iron sights, if you notice, gee whiz, this is so darn hard. I need to figure out how to do this better, right? The iron sights are lower in the window. But with both those dots, you see they're both bright. They're pretty robust. But what I found is a bigger dot is better. So if you're picking, a, for example, a Leopold Delta Point Pro, I would select the, and I think it's either a 5 or 6 MOA. It's the newest one. It's the 6 MOA, I believe, MOA dot versus the 2.5-minute of angle dot, right? So um, in terms.